Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. It's a conspiracy. And uh, I have opened, I think, just one box ever of conspiracy. So I'm really looking forward to this. I hope you guys are uh, having a fantastic day here so far today. Uh, this box is a sponsored box. It's sponsored by one of our great patrons of the channel. This is for Adam, also known as the Super Beast. So Adam, uh, let's see if I can get into this thing. Thank you and uh, and good luck. I think I need to slide it out. There we go. Thank you, thank you, and good luck. They do have the cool uh, little chompy opening here and the sweet green pack. So once again, we're going to try and bring some luck with the Seb McKinnon Chalice of the Void uh, playmat here. So hopefully it does well. So thank you once again to Adam and, uh, and best of luck. I know he really wants the uh, Videlkin Ori, so I'm hoping I can hit that. I know there are a few commons and uncommons as well that are definitely worth something. I think just one common. I'm looking at my screen right now. Uh, Sakura Tribe Elder actually is in there, and then also Mana Geyser. Other uncommons we're looking for, Swords to Plowshares and Victimize. So I'll have to take a look for that. All right, we got the Ignition Team as our first rare. And then our Conspiracy card in the back as well, and an Elephant Token. Yeah, definitely your top end is going to be um, actually both in the rare slots, the Videlkin Ori as well as Exploration. And then you've got some nice Mythics as well. So we'll look through. Yeah, definitely a different feel on these cards, an older feel. Just really sweet. Intangible Virtue, this card was really sweet at one point um, when token decks were a thing. All right. Magister of Worth. Ooh, and a beautiful foil. Let's get some focus there once again. Come on, camera. Grixis Illusionist. That looks really sweet. And an ogre in the back. Yeah, this has uh, this has a feel of like Scars of Mirrodin stock. That's how old this feels. Really cool. Let me get a smell ch smell check. Yep, they even smell like old cards. Kind of poke through the uh, first few of these just to kind of get a feel for it here. Four chant Provoke. Oh, nice. Factor Fiction. I didn't know that was in here. Definitely a, a worthwhile card. Predator's Howl. Ooh, and Grenzo's Rebuttal. Dump in a 4-4. Four, four. Very cool. Yeah, some, uh, definitely some sweet cards in here. So we'll, hopefully we can... We can get some good hits. I'm looking through here. Oh yeah, Reflecting Pool is also in here in the rare slot. Otherwise, uh, your Mythics, you got Dak Faden and Mirari's Wake are going to be, I believe, your your top end there. Assassinate, Provoke, Reckless Spite, and there it is, Mama right on yeah, cue. That's that a is spicy a spicy meatball. meatball. Dak Faden, very nice hit. Ooh, and you get the bonus here, bonus rare. The Canal Dredger Construct. This card's got a little slide to him. Very sweet. All right, we already got one of the top end hits. I really like doing that. There's Brago. Is that one of the ones I was looking at? This one, a different one. Oh, Sakura Tri Builder. That's like a solid buck every time. Right, and there's Grenzo, Dungeon Warden. Very awesome card as well. Oh, and you get the one of the bonus rares here. Legendary Land, sweet. Uh, is that one worth anything? I don't know. Looking through on my computer screen. Uh, it might be, I don't know, I'll check the prices. I do not know the prices of the um, conspiracy cards. You have to let me know in the comments. I mean, you'll see the prices in the um, bottom left of your screen here after we edit it. I just don't necessarily know all of them offhand. Nice, another Sakura Tri Builder. Those are just solid cards to get. Elephant Guide. I used to love this card, still do. And Bassandra, Battle Seraph. Sweet Angel. Very cool. Uh, let's see what else is in here. You still have Scourge of the Throne, Council's Judgment, uh, Pernicious Deeds, Stifle, Marchesa of the Black Rose. Really cool card. 
Uh, Alter Dementia is also in here too. Typhoid Rats, Compulsive Research, Wood Sage, Victimize, there you go. It's a nice set. And Custody Soul Binders. The Foil Breakthrough, sweet. Very nice. All right, well so far pretty good. We got, uh, we got the big hitter on the Mythic side. Now if we can just come through, what the heck? I opened that the other way? <laughs> Apparently I'm drunk, sorry folks. Yeah, if we can hit some of those big rares, that would be amazing. Erden's core into the Realm Seekers. With a spirit token in the back. Well, plenty of opportunities left here. So thank you once again to all of you out there who are liking, subscribing, sharing with a friend, leaving a comment, and all of our patrons who have supported us here. It is absolutely awesome. Vampire Hex Mage, the gamekeeper, and Rhea Dawnbringer. Really cool card. Super expensive, but really a fun card. Big ol' Ray of Dawnbringer, the construct token in the back. The Noble Templar. Brainstorm, that's a good card. And the Mana Geyser, another one. Trumpet Blast. Favorable Winds. Lead the Stampede into the Spirit Monger. And a backup plan. Your bonus conspiracy rares. Very, very cool cards here. Trade wins. On to the uncommons here. Unquestioned authority. I do love this card. We'll throw that in there as well. Warmonger's Chariot. And Decimate. Destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, and target land. Kind of an insane card. Ooh! And Cogworth Grinder. A foil rare. Really sweet. And some of these goofy ones could have some value. I don't know offhand, so... Could be worth pennies, or you might be screaming at me in the comments going, That's an insane kit! I don't know. I did not look at the conspiracy pricing here. Another... Uh, nice card there. Savala's Charge, is that worth anything? It might be. Not sure. Reckless Spite. And the Death Render. 2 plus 2, whenever a equipped creature dies, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield and attach it. Very sweet. Another Construct in the back. Yeah, as I said before, hopefully you're having a fantastic day. An easy going, nice day, and if you're not, I hope it gets a little bit better. Let's balance that out. There we go. Oh, nice. Treasonous Ogre. That's one of the really good uncommons. It's kind of an unbelievable card. Smallpox. And the Terastodon. Big old dumpy Terastodon. With the construct in the back. Well, again, we still have plenty of opportunities. Uh, for some of the some of the big hits, I'd like to see a stifle. I think that's just a cool card. Volcanic Fallout used to play this card all the time. Quicksand into the misdirection. Nasty little counter spell. Very solid one. All right, we're getting toward the bottom of the first stack here. That's right, you get 36 packs. There's another Tribe Elder. And just a super effective card. Another Factor Fiction. Oh! Mamma mia, that's a spicy you meatball! The Vidalcan Ori. Sweet hit. That is your most expensive card. That's around 35 bucks right now out of this set. Absolutely fantastic. And a plea for power. Oh, man. That is absolutely awesome. Plea for Power, I think, is a $2 regular rare. I'm not sure what the foil is. That actually could be worth something. Wow. Well, you got exactly what you wanted, and we still have a ton left here. So hopefully uh, 
I don't know, this could be the type of set where you get some duplication as well. I will not be upset if we get uh, duplication on Videlkin Ori. That would be sweet. Into the Sulfuric Vortex. It's a mean old card. Remember that one from back in the day. Was that Scourge? Someone tell me in the comments, what was that originally from? Sulfuric Vortex. I could be dead wrong on that. I feel like it was Scourge for some reason. All right. Well, well done here so far. Respite. Marchesa. Into nice. Mamma mia, that's a really spicy a meatball. Hit. Reflecting pool. Add to your mana one mana of any type that a land you control could produce. That is an incredible hit. Wow, you are hitting everything here. This is the last pack of the first stack so man oh man kind of taking our time on this a little bit more because this is more of a oh nice double good hits there more of an unusual open we don't typically get to do old school conspiracy we did a lot of conspiracy too which i enjoyed and the silent arbiter i really enjoyed it but yeah we uh i think the only conspiracy and this is patrick by the way if you can't tell the difference between brett and i the only conspiracy I opened, I think, was off camera. I don't think I ever opened um, opened this on camera. And another decimate. All right, so it is definitely possible to get some duplication with a foil quicksand. Sweet. Not a lot of foils out of these. Man, I'm so used to the newer sets just dumping out the foils. These are way more scarce to be able to hit. Or so it seems. Another brainstorm. They're just giving them away. Yeah, always sweet to open this old stuff. Quicksand. Into Dax. Duplicant. Duplicate? And Magus of the Mirror. Sweet. That looks really cool. You do get some foils, but yeah, just not nearly as much. I think starting in like Core 2020, they started um, really cranking up the foil count. Another Mana Geyser. It is a good card. Actually, an extremely good card. Never really thought about that card. Mortify. Into another Rhea Dawnbringer. Why not? And the Canal Dredger. Bonus rare. Oh, we still have only one Mythic. We are definitely uh, due for that. Let's see if we can hit the uh, Urari's Wake. Or it used to be an absolute... Uh, Absolute bomb. We just really upped the the goodness of things. I'm just looking through here, the uncommons. Make sure I'm hopefully not missing anything. I don't think I am. No value. Split decision. Into nice. Another Grenzo. That's definitely one you want to duplicate on. Grenzo, where's he coming in these days? I think he's worth a few bucks, unless I'm Unless I'm crazy, I swear he is. Well, you'll see on the bottom. You will see on the bottom. I swear he's worth something, though. I'm trying to look at my computer. It's a little far away from me. And... Brago, King Eternal. That's definitely worth, I think, about five bucks. Solid hit. And the Aether Searcher. And the bonus rares. You get out of the, the old conspiracy. Very sweet. Alright, continuing on. Where are all the mythics? Gotta be due here. There's one. One of my favorite mythics. I don't think it's worth a ton. Um, but I absolutely love this card. Phage the Untouchable. See if you can cheat it into your opponent's side and make them lose the game. Deal damage to the opponent. It's just a very disrespectful way to take down an opponent. Stave off. And Magus of the Mirror. It's a non-foil version this time. A nice foil there. 
Uh, let's hit that exploration or double up on the Vidalcan Ori. I will definitely accept that as a as an option. Another Sakura Tri Builder. And the Demir Doppelganger. Very cool. Come on, give us a duplication on the Vidalcan Ori. That would be just so cool. Tangible Virtue once again. And the Death Render again. Man, so much duplication here. Yeah, give us that good duplication. Give it to us. Probably about seven, eight packs left, I would guess, here. So, thanks for sticking around if you're still sticking around. And... Ooh. Ogre Shaman here. Heartless... Heitsugo? Heitsugo? You tell me. You tell me. It's a legendary ogre. That's what he is. You correct my illiteracy in the comments. That's where you can do it. Don't you yell at me. Another spirit monger. Come on, give us the lucky duplication on the Vidalcan Ori. Do it one time. Oh, nice. Wolfbriar Elemental. This is a really cool kicker card. It's definitely a card I've played before. At least a time or two. Getting down there. Yeah, these packs even open different. If you've not opened some older packs, they definitely have... I'd say unique feel, but it's just a different feel from the current packs. Question of authority once again. And oh, Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Oh, man, look at this. Let's see if we got anything else back here. Let's get the foil out of the way. What in the heck is going on here in this box? Double Dak Faden. <laughs> well, you didn't get your Mythics, but uh, now you're getting them. How about two uh, $25 Mythics? Very sweet. Oh, man. That is so awesome. Smallpox again. And rain of the pit. A little rain on your pit. All right. Let's see what else we can get here. Let's get that stifle. Otherwise, another... Uh, <laughs> let's get the third deck fade in. This would be the coolest air box I've ever seen, if that's the case. Nope. Not this time. Edric Spymaster of Trust. Ooh, this is a card I've used to play quite a bit. It's a pretty fun card. Copperhorn Scout. Works well in your uh, elf tribal decks. Another Brainstorm. Take those all day long. Your servant. Oh, nice. This is another one of the good mythics. Coercive Portal. Um, I think it's pretty good. At least I think it's probably seven to ten dollars, somewhere in that range. Very nice. Well, up to four mythics. Um, and the duplication on the mythic is, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better duplicate mythic. So it kind of just even feels like a, like a bonus one there. Another mana geyser. Mortify. And Route. Very good card. Destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. And you can turn it into an instant if you need to. All right, down to the last pack. Can we get one more Mythic or perhaps an Exploration? A Duplication on the Vidalcan Ori on the way out. That would be sweet. Swords to Plowshares. It's our first one of that. Bite of the Black Rose. Into Silvala, Explorer Returned is going to be our final rare. Well, what a fun box. That was uh, really awesome. I mean, doubling up on the Dak Faden, that's pretty crazy. I don't think I've done that more than maybe once ever. Getting duplicate mythics that aren't foil is very, very unusual. So 
really cool. Thank you once again to all of our patrons, particularly to Adam Super Beast in this video. Thank you very much. I all hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. This has been Booster Therapy. Thank you.